Still on the warm side a little bit for a few locations, but I've been checking out 805 webcams and a few of them are showing marine clouds starting to make a little bit of a rebound. I was talking about that yesterday, how today a little bit of a transition day with a big change coming as we get into Thursday and Friday. And here it is, this huge trough of low pressure beginning to move into the west. This is very non-seasonal. This is more of a mid-fall or even a winter type pattern with a big barrel area of low pressure pushing into the west. Check this out. Beaches just in the 50s for highs the next couple of days with a lot more cloud cover. Coastal valleys. Now these are places that pushed 100 degrees just yesterday. Places like San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria has been in the 80s. We're talking about low 70s and in the interior, which again today was in the 90s. Yesterday nearly 100. We're talking about low 80s by Friday, low 80s tomorrow. So big shift is coming pretty quickly here. OK, you can see a lot more clouds in here and again, temperatures starting in the 50s and they might end up in the 50s tomorrow at beaches. Coastal valleys starting in the 50s with some low clouds and then partly cloudy skies, breezy, cool, mist and drizzle possible, by the way, the next couple of days with those clouds. Now the south coast a little further away, the colder air takes a little more time to get there, so we're still probably going to get a day in the mid 70s, but the interior is going to really benefit places that would just like to turn off the air for a little bit. Tomorrow's that day and breezy to downright windy as well later in the day. So the whole afternoon 70s and 80s. It's just hard to say just how cool it could be because I think it's going to be a huge shift. But right now, Nascimento looking good at 94 degrees. So last few hours here of warm weather. Kachuma Lake 87 west winds 14 miles per hour right now. Templeton is 90 degrees again going to be a huge shift over the next couple of days and Pismo Beach still sitting in the 70s. Not seeing much cloud cover there yet, but again, this barreling low pressure system is a really energetic trough and once it digs in tomorrow and Friday, it's still around Saturday. The interesting thing is when this kicks out, it's quickly replaced by a ridge of high pressure, which is going to crank temperatures back up. Then there's another little cutoff low that gets in here next week. It's going to be something to time. But again, look at this low clouds pushing in the evening here overnight into the interior valleys as well. And our modeling does show pockets of mist and drizzle possible here, especially later tomorrow into Friday. Really deep area of low pressure. It's going to expand the marine influence a lot in this forecast. OK, to the south, we have several tropical disturbances, including Hurricane Gilma Category 2. It's probably going to become a category four, which is huge, but it's in the middle of nowhere. Now this is the forecast until 11 a.m. Monday. There are the Hawaiian Islands out here. Now a weakened system probably gets out there sometime, say the middle of next week or something. So we're going to have to watch that pretty carefully as well. So 70s for slow all the way through Santa Barbara with low 80s and Paso Robles. North Coast beaches have temperatures just in the 50s. We might get into the 60s at Avila Beach. The five cities looking cool in the 50s and 60s. The deep interior just in the 80s and south coast temperatures. Again, being a little further south, southern Santa Barbara County has one day before it cools down there as well. We'll have an update for you at 5.